Hey everyone, Michael, Chorby Lawn Care. I wanna share something with you guys. I'm at a, a new client's house, they just signed up. They're having some concerns with some St. Augustine they put down earlier in the year. So as we take a look, it's mainly on this side. You're in between two homes here. If you look close, you're gonna see a lot of standing water all through here. Part of that's because of the natural grade. Um, that's where the water's gonna naturally wanna run off to. But compounding that issue is sunlight, it's just not, as much exposure to sun. Um, there's a couple other things I'm noticing here that all this leaf debris, all this stuff is contributing factors to why a lawn may be struggling. You leave all that leaf on top, it's gonna trap that moisture. It's not gonna allow that soil to breathe. It's also gonna increase the odds of, of getting a fungal disease or some other type of pathogen in your lawn. Now I wanna compare that to the other side of their house here. That's doing really well, full sun. No standing water. You can see the, the sod fully took. It's healthy, it's fully rooted. And more importantly, when you stand and walk on it, there's, it's not, there's no water. You can just feel on your feet. Over on the other side, it was saturated, really soggy, and it just, that root zone completely mushed. It never had a chance. So when you have a discrepancy in sunlight in your yard, you're gonna wanna adjust your water accordingly. When you have shady conditions, you need to cut your water down considerably compared to a wide open area with full sun. So I hope this tip helps. Have a good day.